I guess I'm supposed to say what's up, Internet. Um, as you can see, our lovely uh, host is not with us tonight. He's uh, taking a, a, a well-deserved rest. I guess you could say well-deserved. Is it well-deserved? I don't um I don't know, man. He, he he works pretty hard. I mean, I know he probably doesn't work as hard as you do, but he, I know for a fact that he's <laughs> harder than I do. So. Uh, that, that's very, very kind of you. He works hard and uh, he's back at work. And as we've documented, uh, his wife is a, is a nurse. She's a frontline worker. So she's off. He's off. So they're taking some time. Reski, how's your, uh, how's your week? I guess it's been about a week and a half since our last video yeah you know things have been pretty good i i've been uh i've been busy uh with a, a a number of zoom calls so i've got i've got you on the docket now once a week and i've got uh two groups for the cruisers on the docket uh once a week uh one's actually maybe three um one is for my hockey team one is for our throws team and the third one is just a general where everybody can join or anybody can join uh, from the club. Uh, it's sent out to, in a mass email. Uh, so uh, I actually hosted last Saturday, uh, which was interesting. I'm, uh, I'm more of a let's jump in and instead of let's lead. So uh, tr the idea of leading is I'm not quite comfortable with it yet. I know I can handle it. I know I can, deal with it i just i need more practice so that's where i've been the last 10 days all the sports teams you're involved with you guys all have your own your own zoom chat yeah so um our uh, our hockey coach uh is also my throws coach so uh he uh he's made a point of making sure that uh we're on a zoom call with each group uh and obviously, they don't. He doesn't want them to overlap because they last like forty minutes or an hour. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, and him taking a, a full evening to to do all this is, it would be rather ridiculous. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, we've uh, we've managed to do, um, or I've managed to participate in three, and I, I think I'm going to continue doing that. Um, it, it's really nice to be able to connect with. Uh, people you you don't see uh either in the summertime because they're just hockey guys or um obviously we're not seeing anybody face to face right now for anything so uh, that's just to, to kind of stay in touch uh i i think it's it, it's to stay in touch I, to be perfectly honest with you um i think that they facilitated it because of what uh what covid is doing uh, to all of us and a lot of us are uh, not working or um, having our routines kind of just thrown up in the air. And um, I know me, for me personally, um, I, I the last five years since I started working, I had a routine where I followed stringently. And um, now it, it's just, uh, you, you kind of do what you got to do, but uh, I, I've got a routine that I've had to redevelop in my brain and it, it's not, it's not perfect, Andy. Like I, I'm kind of em embarrassed or a little bit of ashamed how it's going, but uh, this is week five and we're, uh, it, it's a work in progress. And you know what? Uh, life is a work in progress. Being a human being is a work in progress. If you're not changing things up about yourself uh, weekly, or if you're not learning something new weekly or daily, um, there's really, sometimes it, there's just no point. Listen, one of the things we can talk about, because um, the Hobbs fan's not here, um, ESPN dropped a documentary this week, and then um, Netflix picked it up as well, and um, it's about uh, Chicago Bulls back-to-back -back three peats, if you could say it. I guess that's the best way to say it, eh? Because there was a what, a year or two in between them? But uh, anyways, you've watched the first two episodes. I have not yet. I just wanted to get your thoughts. Um, well, like I said, John's not here, so he's got no opinion. Yeah, but you know what? Without giving anything away because you haven't watched anything uh, or you haven't uh, caught the last, first two episodes, I, I've learned an awful lot 
Um, I, uh, I thought that I was a Michael Jordan fan. Clearly I'm not. I, I literally learned everything that I watched. I, 80% of it I didn't know. I, uh, I had no idea that Michael Jordan didn't make his basketball team or his varsity basketball team as a sophomore. Oh, even um, I knew that. And, well, I, I mean, uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not, admittedly, I'm not the biggest basketball fan. I, yeah, yeah. I have just been become a big basketball fan in the last, well, I guess since, um, since the Raptors came to town. Yeah. But, but uh, I have to tell you, I actually, there's a, there's a clip in there um, and it's just, it's a stock clip, so it's not going to give anything away. But there's a stock clip in there of uh, of him playing the Raptors okay. in, 19, in 1995, and it's at Skydome. Yeah, yeah, I remember that and, game. And, and I was at that game. Oh, yeah? And, and uh, it just it, it gave me goosebumps because I remember how terrible the setup was at Skydome, but they made it work. Yeah. Which is absolutely amazing because there was no way you were going to sell 65,000 seats and they didn't. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But they still managed to sell enough that they had to open up the, the upper bowl. And uh, sure enough, uh, my dad, my brother and I were sitting in the upper bowl and they were still great seats. You could see everything. They were like this tall, but you could still see everything. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, it, it's... It's obviously it's Michael Jordan and it's the Bulls, but um, I learned a little bit more about Scottie Pippen. Yeah, yeah. My my um, the amount of respect I have for him went from this because he was Robin to Batman essentially to like this. All right, so you have watched the first two episodes. We said if you haven't checked it out, check it out. Uh, that would be your recommendation. As I said, I definitely plan to. But uh, this week on the podcast, uh, we'll be out this weekend. We uh, caught up with Dave and AC of uh, HWE Wrestling, Hamilton Wrestling Entertainment. Uh, and this one, I kind of took a, not kind of, I really took a back seat to Chad and yourself. But I think the point of the having them on again well, it was AC's first time, but having Dave on with AC was just to kind of take the focus off of COVID for a little bit. Wrestling is something that uh, you and Chad are very passionate about. So um, the two of you just got to pick their brains for a little over an hour, right? Eh? I, I think uh, in the face of trying to get back to normal, if we can call it that, um, something like HWE is tremendously important to do, to uh, to talk about and talk to with Dave and AC because uh, it uh, it just shifts focus on uh, on something that's a, a little bit a, a little bit uh, kinder I, I'll say um, the the fact that uh, right now nothing's going on we we've got no no sports going on at all and just uh having those guys on adds a little bit of normalcy to what's go going on in the world and the fact that we know that once everything is is set set back up again uh, where we can go back to our our lives in whatever capacity we're able to uh that hwa is going to be there and I know for a fact, that Andy. I know you're you're not a huge wrestling fan, but I know for a fact that Chad, yourself, and, and me are going to be there front row for their their first uh, their first show back, uh, because we 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 appreciate homegrown things, and they're they're very small, but uh, they mean so much to that community. And uh, I, I'm just uh, personally, I'm, I'm looking forward to that that first show back. Yeah, they, uh, I mean, I've said before on the podcast, I, I just said it a couple minutes ago, I'm not a huge wrestling fan, um, but I will um, I will support my friends, and Dave has been a good buddy of mine for a long time. It was really fun just to listen to you guys uh, kind of geek out when you were talking to them, because um, 
you guys all kind of speak the same language. And I just kind of sat back and uh, threw my opinion in when, uh, when needed. But uh, it was a good distraction from everything that's going on for sure. Well, I think it's very similar to uh, how you approach uh, NFL football. Um, you're the biggest NFL football fan that I know personally. And I mean, you, you, you rag on Chad and I about loving the CFL, but uh, you, you, just like pro wrestling, you love the NFL. Yeah. Uh, we, we, Chad and I have loved pro wrestling since we were, we were kids. You've loved the NFL since you were a kid, obviously. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and uh so what we know about pro wrestling and the history of pro wrestling uh, in our lifetime, you know the same about the NFL in your yeah. lifetime and maybe even before that. So, I mean, to, to make it a comparable like, like that, uh, I think it makes sense. Um, our passion besides all sports is certainly pro wrestling. Your passion is uh, well, we've we've talked about uh, the NBA, obviously. So your passion is basketball, but above that, I think your passion is the NFL, and it's really cool to see that um, even even if uh, you know a lot about the NFL and I know very little about the NFL, and I'm still passionate about it, I'm able to learn from you what what I don't know if I want to learn it. We're going to get the podcast out by the end of the week. So, again, it's Dave and AC from uh, HWE. Even though you didn't see Chad, we, uh, Andy and I expect the numbers on this video to be just as good as the one from last week. So, yeah. so go ahead and go ahead and listen to it or watch it and then watch it again. Yeah. Anyway, Bretsky, I will uh, I'll let you go. Is there anything you want to close off with? No, buddy. Just uh, – be safe. Go enjoy uh, the kids and your wife, and uh, we'll catch up to you later on. All right, man. We'll talk soon.